Tell him what's okay. to come with these questions. Well, we got somebody here eternally secure. He's got a cross. So I'm going to pick him. He's got to be Christian. What's up, man? Eternally secure. How are you, sir? Pretty good, man. I was just scrolling by. I haven't even been here for 10 seconds, so I just wanted to let you know I don't even know, really. I just was reading around. Okay. Are you a Christian? Yes, sir. Do you believe in the Trinity? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Okay, then this is probably not for you. What do you really? believe in? But I believe Jesus is God, 100%. Why? Because I believe that the Bible is the Word of God. Okay, and so how many gods do you believe in? One. Okay, so are you oneness, Pentecostal? I'm not a Pentecostal. I don't even go to church. I mean, I guess you can say I'm oneness. I believe that there are three... I believe there are modes. three aspects within God. No, I don't. I wouldn't say modes. I wouldn't say modes. I believe that God's word is God. Is it identical to Him? Um, identical. Uh, I don't know if I would not. I would probably not use that word um, because of the is fact. Is it a part that, of Him? Um. Yeah, I would say that. So then, you believe that God has parts? Mm, well, yeah. I guess I would. Say Say so, because in Genesis 1, it says, uh, God said, let us make man in our image, and I have a body, a soul, and a spirit. So God is most likely a triune being in a similar way. So you think God is made up of three parts? Um, yeah, the Bible says the Father, His Word, and His Spirit. Mm -hmm. So why should we believe in that? Well, I don't, I don't think with, so I think that it explains how an eternal God can relate with a finite amount of time, right? The fact that I understand that it's confusing how, how can a man be God? Like that makes no sense. Like you're saying God went to the bathroom and sweat and stuff like, I get that it doesn't make sense, but the, the purpose for which the Bible makes the claim is the redemption of man because man is inherently sinful mm -hmm. and jesus christ is claimed to be the sinless son of god so he is was able to be a perfect man where we cannot be a perfect man and so it could is god forgive death. us without god becoming um man and dying for our sins uh eternally no the bible says without the shedding of blood there is no remission okay and who wrote that well it's god who declared it who wrote it Holy men of God, as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Who wrote Hebrews 9.22? Paul, as he was moved by the Holy Ghost. Okay. So, can you read Psalms chapter 40, verse 6? Oh, uh, yeah, let me go there. Just to be clear, this man said it's impossible for God to forgive without the shedding of blood, which is Hebrews 9.22. Well, which hold on. I said, said. I said eternal salvation. Mm -hmm. Eternally, yeah, but those people were given salvation during that time. So, so it says, "Many, O Lord, my God, are thy wonderful works which thou hast done, and thy thoughts which are to usward. They cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. If I would declare no, and speak of the them, they are more text. than can be numbered. Sacrifice you're and reading offering, the wrong text. Thou not desire. Uh, no, I'm not. Psalm 40, verse six. I like to read the context. I like to read at least a verse before and a verse okay. after. Okay, go ahead. Sacrifice and offering thou didst not desire, mine ears hast thou opened, burnt offering and sin offering hast thou not required. Then said I, Lo, I come. In the volume of the book it is written of me, I delight to do thy will, O my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. Is, uh, do you want me to keep going? No. I just wanted you to read verse 6, but you did it on your own. So can you go back and read verse 6 slowly? Uh, yes. Yeah. Sacrifice and offering thou didst not desire. Keep reading. Mine ears hast thou opened, burnt offering and sin offering hast thou not required. Okay, so does God require sin sacrifice in order to forgive you? Well, see, but you're not saying what the text is saying, right? Sin sacrifice. Yeah. Well, hold on a second. Sin sacrifice Just and answer. sin offering. Does God well, require? I, but, I, but I am. I can't answer if you're not letting me talk. I, I just asked you, does he require it? It's a yes I know. or no answer. I, does but I'm pointing out to you that you're using words that the verse does not use. The, the text says, is, the text says very clearly, yes. burnt offering and sin offering you do not require. Yes. 
So does God require sin offering? No. Okay, what is a sin offering for? I was waiting for you to ask me that. So in Leviticus what is it for? in Le Right. So in Leviticus 4, it talks about certain sacrifices. You had carnal ordinances, you had the sin offering, you had the wave offering. So you had you had the different diverse animal sacrifices, right? Mm -hmm. So when it says sacrifice and offering thou didst not desire, and then it goes on and it repeats that statement by saying burnt offering and sin offering thou hast not required. It's talking about animal sacrifices. Yeah. Where does it where does it say that here? Where does it say Where does it mention any where does it mention anything about animals? It says sin offering so a burnt you offering, have not required. Sin offering is for what? Is it for forgiveness of sin? So it was a temporary covering in the in the uh, Old Testament law given to Levitical God law Moses was in the book of Leviticus. It, it's, um, it's just a in, question: is is it for forgiveness of sin? Not eternal, no. Okay, so is it a for for forgiveness of sin? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, and it's only for temporary. Yes, the same way that. Um, what do you mean by that? Yeah, explain it. Yeah, I mean that's the same way. You know, if you if you commit a sin against God and you fall, you pray and ask for forgiveness from God, and then you go and you're fine. And then until the next time you do something, you you know you might have to, you know, do do an offering. So you they do would do one. they would do a sin offering each year because of the fact that Christ had not yet come. But there, Where does that's the text what say the old. That? Well, it says it in Hebrews nine. It says it in Colossians two. No, no, no. We're talking about we're talking about Old Testament. Where does the text say that? Where does it say what? It doesn't say anything you just said in Psalm chapter forty. We're talking about the Old Testament text. But you're trying to confine my answers. No, I'm trying to show you that the New Testament contradicts the Old Testament because Paul says, "Without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin." And this text says that that's not true. Right. So you don't think that there's a possibility that you might possibly misunderstand something? I because, can possibly uh, because, misunderstand. Because, yes, it's logically possible. Oh, but this okay, text so is not possible. Hold that. on. Let me, you asked me a question. Let me finish the answer. This text, no, it's not possible that I'm misunderstanding it. That's arrogancy. You're never going to know no, the truth. No, it's not. I, it simply says never, an sin like offering that, you sin be, offering no, sin no, offering you have no. not sin offering you have not required you're telling me that sin offering is required God that's a direct contradiction a, listen i i would i want so badly to respond to what you're saying you did you already told me that it's no, not required listen you clearly do not want to hear Eternally, what I have real, to say. Eternally, real quick, the Levitical law was only un unintentional sin, by the way. It was not intentional sin, so this point does not yeah. help you. But the point is it doesn't matter what the sin is for because even mm. in the case of the Old Testament, whether you say temporary or you eternal or it. unintentional sin or intentional sin, the verse says that sin offering is not required in general. You're, so It's not a requirement. If you would actually allow me to speak unimpeded, I did. And, no, 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 no. I did, say, I did at length. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. I am willing to explain, but if you keep cutting me off before I'm finished, it's not going to I didn't to work. cut you off. You just made an ad hominem attack and said that you seem like, because you're convinced with your understanding of this text, that this is arrogant. That's not arrogant. Are you Not convinced with are you, you convinced are you convinced with your understanding of the text, sir? It seems like you just want confrontation and you're not really hungry for truth, right? You're not really trying oh, to Oh, there you go people. again. On. This is just emotional because, this is just emotional you're not, appeal, you're not sir. You're not really trying to teach people. This is just really an emotional just this is just fight. an emotional appeal, sir. I want to explain these verses, but I don't think you want but to hear the if, explanation. If, if you wanted to explain it, you would just explain it and tell, instead of telling me that I don't want the explanation I when I asked Leviticus you for it. Four. I mentioned Leviticus Okay, you know what? You, you know what? Eternally, what you exactly. can do is have a nice day. You, that's what you can do. Have a nice day or evening, wherever you are. We're going to move no, on. No, he's telling you explain. <clears throat> he's going to circle. Yeah, I said explain question. it, and then he's, he's telling me that I don't want the explanation. <laughs> I mean, what are we talking about? Uh, 